Sports Center Ashley Brewer here, and after their big win last night, the Suns visit the Clippers tonight. Suns are looking for an eighth straight win, which would tie their longest single season win streak in the last 10 seasons. The Jazz have lost back to back games. They'll try to snap that drought tonight as they host Portland. Jazz are 8 and 1 in the second game of back to backs this season, and the Lakers continue their seven game road trip tonight in Miami. Lakers are coming off a win over Toronto, but they're 4 and 6 without LeBron James and Anthony Davis this season. And to look at this further, we now welcome in our basketball analyst, Monica McNutt. Hello, Monica. The Suns are riding a seven game win streak. They're now just a game and a half behind the Jazz for the top spot in the West. Why is this Phoenix offense so challenging to defend against? I'm going to answer the question, but hey, Ash, it's hey, so girl. good to be here with you. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The answer to that question on what makes the Suns offense so dangerous is the options that they have. We know that Chris Paul has been tremendous at the point guard position. We know that Devin Booker is a prolific scorer. Mix them up together, so many options. This was in the first quarter last night. Look at Devin Booker. He draws three defenders from one of the most elite defensive teams in the league. Quick pass to Chris Paul, he knocks down the three. Now, even if there was a rotation, Chris Paul easily could have swung that ball to Jay Crowder. He would have been open as well. Here's Chris Paul in the pick and roll. DeAndre Ayton is literally, that whole green light, like DeAndre Ayton has all of that space. Rudy Gobert is stuck in no man's land, really can't make a decision. It's an easy dish and an easy two for DeAndre Ayton. And then in overtime, D-Book. Chris Paul has made this team much better, but D-Book still can score in a crowd. Up over three guys, he also had Chris Paul, who could have hit that three, made it another swing. This offense is so multidimensional because you have to respect Devin Booker's ability to score the basketball. You have to respect DeAndre Ayton in the pick and roll. And CP3 is mixing that thing up oh so perfectly, and you see the results when you look at the Western Conference standings. Yeah, this Phoenix team has so many weapons. We saw it in the bubble, and everyone's like, is it for real? Um, obviously, it is for real. So Utah's coming off that overtime loss to Phoenix last night. Tonight, they host the Blazers. What concerns do you have about this Jazz team now moving forward? All right, so last night in that matchup against the Suns, the Jazz shot, shot excuse me, a dismal and uncharacteristic 25% from the three. They cannot move that, do that going forward into tonight's matchup. But I'm also concerned about them against Portland's smaller lineup. So much of what they hinges upon Rudy Gobert's ability to protect the rim and they can rotate around him. If Portland goes small, put Melo at the five in certain spots, not for the entire entirety of the ball game, that draws Gobert away from the paint. Their entire defense is now basically in the matrix. They obviously have to get back to shooting the basketball their characteristic way, but I'm really concerned when you have a small team that creates a matchup problem for Rudy Gobert or teams that can put someone in that dunker spot and he can't help because he has to stay attached to his man. And so for a team that has hung their hat on their efficiency on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball, they're going to have to work through some of these kinks as we get closer to the playoffs if they're the real deal, Ashley. That's right. The Jazz only have one win in four total games against the Suns and the Nuggets this season. So they're trying to get back on track tonight against Damian Lillard and the Blazers, which, as we know, is a huge threat. Monica McNutt, great chatting with you. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.